on today's episode. I gouge in a bucket. I welt in a bucket. And then I welt under the bucket. Welcome back to a welder's journey. Today we have a big excavator bucket to weld. This thing has seen a lot of abuse and it developed a lot of cracks. The first thing I need to do is gauge the cracks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Arc gouging is like the superhero of metalworking. It uses an electric arc to melt and remove metal, creating cool sparks and fiery effects. Kind of like a mini fireworks show. It's like sculpting metal with lightning. And here we are, this is the aftermath of the gouging. Removed all the bad welds, all the cracks and all the bad spots. Some places you have to go very deep. Well, you know what time it is, it's time to weld. Hell yes! I'm gonna start by welding with a 1718 welding rod, it's my favorite to use. I run it about 150 amps. Did you know that 1718 welding rods are the superheroes of the welding world? They have a special coating that not only helps create a strong, clean weld, but also acts as a shield. Protecting the weld puddle from contaminants in the air. It's like they wear a magical cloak that keeps the weld safe from harm while it's being forced. Plus, they are known for their versatility, making them the go-to choice for everything from building skyscrapers to crafting intricate sculptures and heavy equipment. So next time you see a welder wielding a 1718 rod, remember, they're not just welding, they are welding with a little piece of welding magic. There you have it, another repair, well done. This bucket is ready for some more action. I would really like to thank everybody for the subscriptions and the likes and it really helps the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.